Let's talk about vase mode, or what's commonly known as vase mode. Spiralized mode, outer edge only. It goes by a few different names depending on the slicer and the version of the slicer. In this case, uh, I'll be showing you on Cura, and I believe it's a slightly older version of uh, 231. I think they're now currently on 24 something or other, but we'll use this. Um, in the case of Cura, it is right here, and it says Spiralize Outer Contour. And what this does is print only a single line width all the way around the entire object, starting from the base, working to the top, non-stop. Basically, the Z is going up the entire time. Uh, it's actually in small increments because of how a stepper works, but we'll consider it continuous for the sake of discussion. So let me pull up a vase. So here's a solid structure. If you were to print this entire thing, if you were to print this entire piece using a normal method, it would be a, well, hollow technically with some infill, but it would have a top and a bottom and everything. It would take about 17 hours to print using 57 meters of filament. However, if you turn it into a vase, this will print in about 4 hours using only 9 meters of material. And it will only print the outer wall. As you can see going into the x-ray mode. Not the x-ray mode, the layer mode. It's printing a single line width the entire time. In most cases, it goes around continuously working its way up higher with each step. If you do not have spiralize on your settings or vase or whatever it might be for your slicer, uh, you might have to change the visibility of that option. And in this case, you can just type start typing spiral and check that box and it will show up under your special modes in Cura. Uh, everything else, the settings, the only thing that's actually used is the layer height, um, the temperature, uh, the print speed, and that type of thing. Uh, I found very good results with the print speed uh, down to 40 millimeters a second and then otherwise uh, the normal temperatures that you would use for the material. This video is covering more than just face mode, it's also a print test of a few other materials. And in this case it's we're printing Hatchbox Wood, a Clear Pet G, tea glass, and a coconut fiber. Four different designs. And those will all be seen uh, towards the end of the video. And those will all be seen in a few minutes. While I have the settings up, um, these are the settings that I use on a Wenhow i3 Plus and a Maker Select Plus for wood. Uh, I use basically my standard PLA settings. I'm running these tests at 0.2 millimeters and the print temperature of 205 with a build plate of 60 degrees. Now this is with a micro Swiss, uh, all metal hot end. Uh, if you're using a standard, which would not be recommended unless you're using some kind of an all metal tip uh, with something abrasive like wood, uh, it would be about 10 degrees less than this if you were using the stock hot end. Uh, again, about 40 millimeters a second for the print speed for the wood, uh, especially for the vase mode. And this is what both of the woods, the hatchbox and the coconut fiber are printed with. The settings that I used for the Clear Pet G the only thing that's different is the print temperature is 215 degrees and the build plate is set at 70. I found very good results allowing it to stick to the build plate at that high of a temperature. Uh, also, the retraction distance is 0.9 for the PET-G. Again, this is for an all-metal, the, the Micro-Swiss all-metal hot end. Uh, if you were using a stock, 
you would want to have it at about two to three millimeters for the retraction or you will have massive stringing. Also with the PET G, I do run the fan at 25%, but I only run it uh, after the first layer. Uh, I found better results running the fan at 25% with PET G than running no fan at all. Um, uh, that could be, you could have different results than that. It's definitely something that you should play around with, but these are base settings for the clear PET G. Uh, the other one that is being tested is the T glass, and let me load those settings. Uh, the only real difference for the vase mode is I'm printing at a temperature of 240 degrees uh, with the build plate of 50 and again a retraction of 0.9 and you would want I believe they recommend in the material that comes with the T-glass uh, three millimeters two and a half to three millimeters for retraction on a stock hot end so those are the four filaments that are running um, this is this is the design that I've used for the T-glass uh, it's not the best option for a vase because of this section right here and the section right here is a little too flat and it will not print completely because it's going in a constant spiral working its way up and a small section, oh, smaller than a dime is skipped uh, at the bottom there and right here. But otherwise it does give a good example of how well it prints. This is the design that I used for the Pet G. Uh, I really like the Clear Pet G, and a link will be listed below. Um, with the settings that I'm using for the vase for the Pet G, it is watertight. Um, you might have to tweak it yourself a tiny bit um, to make sure that everything's tight enough to keep it waterproof. You might have to adjust the temperature a little bit, but for me, it is watertight. And that's with a single width at 0.4 which to me is pretty impressive. I mean, a vase that thin, that's watertight. Now, now I've only had that luck with Pet G and the tea glass. Uh, regular PLA, I've not been able to make watertight in vase mode. So there's still some more experimenting there. Okay, here's the design I used for Hatchbox for the wood. I was going for a more organic look since it is wood. To give it a try and it actually turned out quite well and then for the coconut filament I used this design again I was looking for an organic but something a little different um, a little more aggressive looking for the coconut not sure why but this is what I settled on and all of the STLs that I'm using as test prints are available in the description below so let's take a look and see how well the prints came out Here's the tea glass, and as you can see what I was talking about with regards to the hole with the spiral method on flat sections, but otherwise it actually looks very good. And this is watertight, and there's a lot of flex in this, but that's to be expected with a single wall, and it looks quite good in the tea glass blue. The next one is the Pet G, and this is a clear Pet G, and it seems a little thicker, and I'm not sure why that is exactly, because all the settings are basically the same. This is watertight, and there's still a little residual water inside. Um, it flexes, but it's pretty stable. I mean, you could actually use this as a vase for flowers without any problem. And again, it looks quite good. It almost looks like an iridescent crystal. And here is the hatchbox wood. Get that from all the angles all the way around. This is thin, very thin. This is like two layers of paper, cardboard kind of thin. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up the sound but it even sounds like cardboard. I've tried Hatchbox with a stain before and with a gel type of stain. It actually takes hold very good. So this could end up looking quite good if you, 
if you were looking for like a place to put pens, pencils, or maybe some dried flowers, that type of thing. But overall, I'm quite impressed. I think there was only one spot, and that could have been due to either something stuck on the head itself, or maybe it changed diameter for a small section of the filament. But otherwise, I think it's quite good. This is the Easy Wood Coconut Filament. The design came out nice. Overall, until you start looking at the details, there's a lot of under extrusion, there are holes, and when I was removing it, it popped. Oh, there we go. The bottom popped right off. And that's some of the most stringing I've seen in a while. So I would say the temperature needs to be increased on this filament. Um, I'd probably say another 10 degrees. And the extrusion probably needs to be bumped up to 105% or so. Maybe even higher. And there's a bunch of under extrusion all over in there. But anyway, there's that design. So check down below, look through the STLs that I've posted, do searches on your own, or design your own vases, and give them a test. Trying vase mode. And definitely give it a try with Pet G. Until next time.